Hello, I'm Bob Dickinson from InnoVice, and we're going to talk about the rules for force mains in InfoSewer. InfoSewer is our sewer networking package based on the um, steady state design and, and EPS simulation of InfoWater. It's also built in, in ArcGIS like InfoSwim, and it works for ArcGIS 9.3, not 10, 10.1, 10.2, and 10.3. Okay, so the rules for for force mains are pretty simple. You have an upstream loading manhole where you have your um, 10 possible dry weather flows plus a storm flow coming in. You have a gravity main draining from the loading manhole to, to the wet well. The gravity main can be um, basically circular or rectangular and it uses Manning's, Manning's roughness as, as the losses. The uh, wet well is either cylindrical or variable area. The pumps are either fixed capacity, design point, or three point exponential. Then downstream of the um, pump is a chamber node. A chamber node is a basically a pressure node that keeps water under pressure. And you always have to have a chamber node downstream of a pump. And a chamber node it always has a downstream link of, of a force main. Now, downstream of the force main could be another chamber, could be another loading manhole, and that loading manhole then is connect can be connected to a um, to gravity mains, and then you can go on and on. So, wet well, pump, chamber. If you have a force main, then you have a, a downstream um, chamber node. Going to the end of the alf to the end of the system, the outfall never has a force main connected to it. It's always a gravity main. So here we have an outfall. Can it be a fixed elevation, gravity main, chamber node, and then um, and then the um, rest of the system. So when we run this model, we'll use our run manager. We'll run an EPS, and we're going to use advanced force main solution and flow attenuation. So flow attenuation is, is a better quasi saint fanon solution, basically a diffusion wave solution. So we run this and now we have our our force main flows. So we can graph the force mains. Graph the force mains. Make it a little smaller. Okay. Now, what if we turned off the advanced force main solution? We turn off the advanced force main solution and run it. We get a message saying that invalid link connection to, ju to junction chamber 40. What does that mean? Well, if you look at junction chamber 40. It means that we have two pumps going into the same node. So we're not allowed to have that. Same thing for steady state. We can't have use the advanced force main solution. So you can't run this particular model in steady state. So let's go to steady state, run it, and the same same uh, problem. So if we were to run this in steady state, what we would have to do, we have we have different rules in steady state. So what we'll do in steady state is we'll deactivate some elements. So we'll deactivate this element, deactivate this branch. Okay, now when we run it in steady state, it should work. Now we have a solution. Because in steady state, we can have merging force mains and we can have bifurcating force mains downstream. All right, so that's the introduction to the rules for force mains in InfoSewer. Thank you for